Hello everybody and welcome back to the Fusion 360 for FTC tutorial series. If you haven't watched the first five videos in the series, I recommend you do so by clicking on the card in the corner. The last five videos we've looked at how to use the Fusion UI and how to create sketches within Fusion 360. And this is the first video where we are going to apply some of those skills and the finished product um, after we've completed after you've completed the series will be this screw and nut and they will have working joints they'll move correctly you'll have a nice render like this and we'll create a blueprint so we've only learned sketching so far so we're just going to sketch out the basic profile for the nut and the threaded portion of the screw so uh, I'm just going to start with the nut and I have these drawings for reference and these will be available in the description below um, links to these drawings so this is my screw and this is my nut um, and so we're going to start with the nut and I'm making an M4 screw you can use imperial screws if you want uh, you just have to find a blueprint with all the dimensions you need so I'm going to make an M4 screw in this video uh, and we can see that the flat to flat distance for this hexagon is eight millimeters so what I'm going to do is I'm going to come in here and I'm going to um, create a sketch, first of all, and I'm going to change the parameters. So, oh, I should go back and I should create the sketch on the correct plane. If this is the, if I'm creating the bottom of the nut right here, then I want to be looking down and we can see that the X, Z plane is the top and the bottom. Um, so I'm going to select this one here. Now you can see we're looking from the top, which is what we want. I'm going to create a parameter so we can change everything in our screw and nut later, and it'll update. Um, so I'm going to start by creating the nut flat to flat distance. Um, and I'm going to input 8 for now. If you're doing um, an M3 screw or an M5 screw, you'd imp input the right distance for that. Um, and then for creating a flat to flat nut, as we learned before, use the circumscribed polygon tool. So we're going to create that and we're just going to choose the origin. So it's locked in position there. Um, and I am going to do the flat to flat distance here. And we um, got it. Okay. So we want to make sure our sketch is fully constrained like we learned two videos ago. So right now we can drag it around and we can rotate it. So what we want to do is I'm going to, there's many ways to do this. You could measure the distance between here and the uh, x-axis, or you could measure the distance between this point and the y-axis, or any point, and that would lock it in. Um, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the horizontal vertical constraint on this line, and that'll just keep this line vertical. Now it's turned black, everything's locked in, we have the dimensions right, and um, this is going to be it for our nut sketch right now. Um, in a few videos, we'll look at how to bring this into the third dimension, but for now, this is all we can do. So um, go ahead and save this. I'm going to create a new design for our screw. Uh, I'm creating a sketch, and this is going, again, going to be, we're going to be looking down on the screw. So I'm going to create, uh, do it on the ZX plane. Um, and let's look at our drawing. And we can see that for an M3, uh, for M4 screw, the width here is going to be four millimeters. And it's just in the name of the screw itself, M4, four millimeters wide on the threaded portion. So um, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna create a parameter like always. And this is going to be our screw diameter. And I'm gonna put in four. And all we have to do here, very basic, just create a center diameter circle clicking up here or pressing C and put in our diameter there. And there we go. We got it. This is a short video. Everything's constrained, but um, we'll learn some more skills in the next videos, how to bring it into third dimension. And um, then we'll be able to pick it up and start making it into the third dimension like you see here. All right. Uh, I hope you learned something and I'll see you in the next video.